Welcome to WPZ Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to install the new Facebook and Instagram extension into your WordPress system. Uh, this new extension gives you an easy way to sell all of your WordPress and Easy Cart products on Facebook and Instagram, uh, essentially making those nice scrollable product screens that allow customers in Facebook uh, to scroll through your product and then click shop now uh, and same with Instagram. Uh, part of it, uh, the process is really just how do you get all your products into your Facebook system so that you can uh, create your ads and sell there. So we're going to take a look at this new extension. Uh, what you'll do, you'll notice I have just an easy car installation here with some demo data, some basic products, and we want to be able to get these onto Facebook and sell them. So we're going to go ahead uh, as a premium member. You can download your plugin uh, anytime by just going to our website, easycart.com, and right up here at the top you need to just click on premium content and you'll be able to download the uh, extension and you're going to install the extension just like any other plugin and you can see here we've got our two easy cart uh, plugins running but we want to add this new one so I'm going to go add new and I'm going to upload And this is the, the download file you'll get from our website after you become a premium member. And I'm going to go ahead and install this plugin. And we'll go ahead and activate it. And you'll see it in the list of plugins. So now we have the Facebook and Instagram feed uh, installed. And if you need any helpful docs, you can click on the helpful docs section and it will take you to our documentation. Now, once you install it, you're going to have two new screens show up in your system. The first one is under WP Easy Cart. We're going to go to settings and we're going to go down here to third party. And this is all of the third party systems that we connect to. Uh, Google, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Deco Network. So you'll find this new panel right here that says Facebook Feed Setup. And all you need to make this work is this one URL. And what it will do is if you point to it, and I'm going to go ahead and just copy this, and I'll just paste it. And you can do this. You should do this at the beginning. When I run it, you'll notice it just spits out a bunch of information. Uh, this is important for Facebook and this is what Facebook wants to look at is where is this feed. So make sure you click on that. You can run it. Uh, one thing you can do is you can also download a CSV file and this CSV file if I open it once downloaded you'll notice it's the exact same data so you need to run one of those two processes once you download and this is the important information we want this CSV file could be manually uploaded if you wanted to do a really custom file uh, but we like to use this feed that we created because Facebook will look at your products every hour or every day or once a week and do it all automatically so this is the first panel you should do come here click on this and run it one time. The other panel after you install this is under products and you will see that if I edit a product you're gonna find a whole new panel down here and if you go to the very bottom of all your panels in your product you're gonna see this Facebook options and when you open it, you're going to see that we pre-populate your products with data. And you can override this for every product. And so we've got the ID, the title. Um, this could be a short description. This could be a full description. Depends on how you set your product up. It's going to ask for your Facebook, con your product condition. Is it new? Is it used? Is it refurbished? Uh, we just default them all to new. 
uh, but you can pick your currency this is the link that Facebook's going to use uh, you can do a custom image uh, and this is important uh, Facebook and Instagram want you to have a square image uh, for the best results and I can show you later in another video how to customize that but it's really important to have good imagery and if you don't you'll notice if I come up here to my product images we're going to use this first image uh, to feed Facebook and you'll notice it's not square and what happens is they by default will crop off the middle of this image so if you don't like that you may be in a situation where you have to create new images and you can see I went through and processed these images into squares and cropped them where I thought they would be best suited so it's important you know and if you if you do that you can obviously select them here uh, this this image I want uh, different maybe I want that image okay um, you can also pick your manufacturer uh, we default it to whatever the product has uh, the other couple options we have here for Facebook is their demographics and the more specific you get here the better because Facebook will be able to feed their ad system and marketing system with uh, better uh, targeted marketing and for example I have women's clothing I might want to make sure I choose adult um, and that it's female and the color I could do um, if it's important for my business maybe to categorize them for this product I probably am not going to worry about it uh, but this is the next one that's really important Facebook really wants the Google product category and this we're gonna go ahead and click on view Google's list uh, this is pulling off of Google all of their categories and it's pretty easy to scroll through here you can quickly find out what type uh, of product you have just by um, process of elimination here and I'm gonna go to okay the apparel section and I'm gonna just say this is clothing so I might highlight this and copy it I could put the code in there too 1604 but I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in the category and I'm gonna update my Facebook information so this is a whole new section uh, you may have to spend some time going through all your products and really customizing them we try to pull in as much as we can by default uh, but I think the more time you spend here the better performance you're gonna have with your ads so we've installed the plugin uh, we have the URL and we have uh, our our uh, our products configured uh, so that's really all this plugin needs to do. The critical part is being able to supply this URL uh, to Facebook. And we'll show you how to create the catalog next. Um, so let's jump over to Facebook now. And in Facebook, you can point your browser to their business site and that is where you're going to set up your catalog and if you've never set up your catalog before we'll walk through that process uh, a little bit later and when you create a business account you can just go to business.facebook.com uh, you'll want to set this up and spend a little bit of time familiarizing yourself with this area again this is where you can create ads you can check analytics uh, you'll create pixels which are uh, tracking your website and very important for Facebook uh, to show as well and this is also where we're going to create the catalogs and catalogs are what pull in your products into into Facebook and so we're gonna make that as a separate video so if you walk through this process you've you've successfully installed the plugin and you now know the two panels and where they're at so follow up by uh, watching our next video in the series on how to create catalogs thank you